The Lisbon Treaty will bring the EU more influence on the world stage. It will also change to the organization. For more on this important treaty, we are now joined by Zhang Xin, our correspondent in Europe, to learn more about the agreement. Hello, Zhang Xin. Hello, Zhou Yue. As we know, the Lisbon Treaty has undergone a bumpy road from its ratification to the day it comes into effect. To ensure that the agreement would be brought alive, the European Union has made compromises with countries like the UK, Ireland, and Poland. So, why has the process been so convoluted? And also, what kind of role will the Lisbon Treaty play in the EU's integration, Johnson? Yeah, yes, so we know that it, the Lisbon Treaty has a very difficult time of being ratified by its member uh, states. It's mainly it's because uh, it requires uh, its member states to give up or surrender more sovereign, uh, uh, sovereignty to the EU. You know, the Lisbon Treaty, as the replacement of the European Constitution, it was uh, w which was rejected in 2005. It aims at making the EU more sufficient, transparent, and it also tries to enhance the EU's role as a world uh, or global power. So, in order to do that, we can see that this one treaty has will introduce the so-called qualify uh, qualify um, majority vote, uh, or it's a double vote instead of un unanimously approval, and it tries to strengthen the power of several EU institutions, you know, such as the EU Parliament, EU Council. So all of those measures, in fact, are at the cost of individual member states of the EU, especially at the cost of small states. So we see the rejection, you know, first by uh, Ireland and then by the uh, Czech Republic. But now, uh, finally, it has been approved by those countries. So um, uh, that is maybe that is good for those EU policymakers or EU leaders. Of course, oh, yeah. it is a give and take game for the EU countries. But you've been working yeah. in Europe for quite some time. How are ordinary Europeans reacting to the Lisbon Treaty? In fact, you know, there has always been two, you know, opposing attitudes towards uh, the Lisbon Treaty, and for the general general public, we can uh, we can see that they are not so uh, keen or very keen on this treaty. Uh, mainly, it's because you know, at the current level inter of integration of EU, we can see that EU member state citizens they can already, you know, from. Uh, one country to another, for, for example, from Portugal to France, mm. and uh, try to find jobs there. So it's not very difficult for them to do that. But now, with further level of integration, you know, the Lisbon Treaty doesn't make much sense to them. So, mm. in fact, uh, there are some, you know, criticism or opposition to it for, from the general public. You know, when, when I talked to one Portuguese yesterday, he told me that the EU further integration and the Lisbon Treaty is uh, maybe in the future it will eliminate uh, eliminate the characteristics okay. of those individual member states. Okay, so Johnson, we that's have to leave you there. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very yeah. much for your update.